Hi guys, this is Rocco from Bow Lamb Design Studio. Earlier this week I showed you guys my home project management system and one of the projects I showed was under the kitchen sink cabinet. Then I want to show you guys what it actually looks like, the before and the after, before tour. Under my kitchen sink I have this one hook for my oven, meat oven mitts. Um, on the back here you can see that's actually the wall of the of the kitchen. Pull out drawer was actually already there before we moved in, so we just have to um, clean it. I used the Dollar Tree bins for my sponges, and then on the right side is just a bunch of junk, things that are that don't belong in there, like the um, pans, and then also um, things that just pile on top of each other. And as you can see here, there I have these trays underneath. Um, of everything because there's actually a hole in this cabinet so we have to find a solution. Oh, on the right side of the door there's, I'm not really utilizing this space so I want to do something here and good news about the sink area is that um, the pipe doesn't take too much um, space so there is plenty of room um, and I also plan to paint inside the cabinet to um, make it look nicer. I'll show you guys the after tour when I'm done. Progress of under the sink kitchen cabinet project. My husband bought this nice, um, easy to clean board and installed it. In the back here, the black part is. Uh, it's the black poster board from the Dollar Tree, and um, so I, half of it is done. So I'm going to install the other half, and same thing here with the paint. This side of the painting of the cabinet is done, so I have to do the other side next. And this is the after tour. I'm done with organizing under the kitchen sink cabinet. I'm so excited to show you guys. So let's start with the left side of the door. Here I added an, a, another command strip hook for my dishwashing gloves for the meat and um, I also painted the whole cabinet white so it looks really nice now. You can see the black backing and it's a nice backdrop. We um, uninstalled the drawer here and cleaned it up and I just put in things that are um, more essential and I put, I kept the um, dishwashing pods in its container, and I think it works. Here I have, um, I reuse here I reuse a box that I had from the pantry and labeled it for um, my for my cleaning rags. And then in the back you can see um, some, you can see the items behind it, so that's nice. And then um, on this side we have the watering cans that my husband uses weekly and so now he has a spot for them he doesn't get stressed out on where it is so um, so that's nice and then back here I have this baking soda um, in a mason jar and it's actually pretty neat oh the pin I use is a paint pin I will show you a clip of that what I did here is pretty neat. I took those um, plastic pockets and put in the back of the jar and then used like this quarter cup um, measuring cup um, and put it in that pocket so that way I can just easily scoop them and I have this food container um, for mixing uses recipes for cleaning. So I thought that would be really cool to show you guys. And then this is a new purchase. It's a stackable pull-out drawer um, which is really, a, it's a really nice. It, um, 
here I put my sponges and my cleaners. So for my sponges, what I didn't like about my other system was that they were in individual boxes that I had to pull out and open and close. So this is nice. I can just easily pull out the drawer and get what I need. Um, so I've also labeled these also in the paint markers. And um, if I need to erase them, I can erase them with um, alcohol and rewrite them. So I've placed I've the meat in the front, I have me in the front, dairy in the middle, and then the tray sponges in the back. And then on top, since I have um, height, I put the bottles here. Um, I did keep one Dollar Tree container, for my, and this is for my SOS sponges. And um, so I, what I did here is I got a tip from Nikki, from At Home at Nikki, where, where I cut it in halves and quarters and so that's really really nice it's easily open and close there and pull anything out if I need to from the far back so on the right side of the door I bought this is also another purchase from the container store and I use and I use the um, like a command strip to um, to hold to um, to mount it, um, and then the top drawer is for my current dairy sponges, and the bottom one is for my meat sponges. And um, this way, it has a place to dry, and also it doesn't clutter the um, countertops. So I'm very proud of how it came out and what it looks like. And I'll show you guys maybe in a month um, the progress and see if I've maintained this, um, this organization. Hope you guys like what I've done and that you um, have found some tips and want to do something for your under the sink cabinet. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.